Chapter seven, different costumes, same eye. Mm. How do we, uh, <laughs> I mean, it's a great continuation from the last one. Yeah. Um, and first I'll just kind of set the stage by saying that it's a stage. Yes. Um, yes. It, it's like a, like a play that you would go to, you know, all the characters, you know, you have your, your, your mom, your dad, you have the tree, you have the wind sometimes, you know, they actually have characters playing the wind. Um, all of those beings <clears throat> are actual people. So, like, they have names on stage, but they're actually people. Like, if you go approach them later, they won't talk, talk to you about their stage name. They'll tell you who they are. Yeah. And that's important. I'm just going to throw that out there. Yeah. Softball it over. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. Um, yeah. That, I mean, they're, they're telling us who they truly are, but there's something on stage, though. They're yeah. playing a character. Yes. And that's... <clears throat> This is so foundational to the book, to the course, to self-inquiry, is you have, like we've said, you have play, you have characters, you have costumes, you have identities, and you have I behind all of that. Mm -hmm. And so when you're tuned into, okay, different costumes, same I, and that I can forget itself as the costume identity mm -hmm. it can remember itself through like the costume identity yes and then it can be the costume from the knowledge oh. <laughs> and then it, it and then it looks at its other costumes mm -hmm. and it sees i mm -hmm. behind those other costumes Man. And it just comes from that knowledge. So it comes from love and from timelessness. And from I like play. what you said. It's like arguably to, to, to discover I, you need the costume. Yes. It's like to discover yes. I, you need the illusion. Nice. How would I know? <laughs> you know? Um, and I like this quote as it being arguably the most important uh, feature of reality is mm. the ability to forget and remember. Yeah. That, that's at, at chapter seven we're explaining god yes, yes. we're explaining god yes. in the same sentence as you yes. you have the ability to forget and remember you can choose bondage yeah you can choose bondage just like you can choose freedom you know this is actually one of my favorite ways when i talk to people because people ask me mm -hmm. about what's going on mm -hmm. and it's so at when they ask, I now that I've gained a new level of mastery, mm. I'll reflect to them that either way, if you choose to stay in bondage, mm. stay in illusion, stay in suffering of separation, in only being your label. It's just as free and just as powerful if you choose to remember I behind all costumes and to let go of your suffering and let go of all of the stories and lack and separation and anxiety and depression. And that's equally as free of a choice to go either. And that's the art of free will. That's the art of sovereignty. That's the art of being pure reflection to them that either choice is free. And then from there, they can choose freely instead of, yeah, yeah. Swaying them. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I have nothing to say, so... <laughs> The ability to forget and remember, man. He killed that. I'm sorry. Uh, it's a cool feature. <laughs> it's dope. Yeah. And when we did our f conversation back in August of 2021 on simulation, mm -hmm. when we first launched the book, we, we were both so like in love with how God, I can design reality mm -hmm. where there is the feature to forget and remember that is crazy it, it i can't even fathom that like just to think about coming up with that thought yeah. <laughs> and saying i'm gonna put this in the design yeah how do like and then and then to say okay then how would you form it so it it's it, it's it's flawless yes 
it's like flawless. Like, I mean, in, in, in like in the spiritual community, I would say that we forget all the time. Everyone forgets. And it's like inevitable. And you just have the choice to remember when you choose to. I, on, I honestly want to say we're more in forgetfulness than remembering. I mean, like subconsciously, maybe it's the other way around. But like consciously, like, you know, I don't go around like, oh, I'm God, I'm God, I'm God, I'm God, I'm God, I'm God, I'm God. No, I'm no, like, I don't perpetually yeah. think I'm I, I'm I, this is I, it's all I. Right. I, I, I'm at CVS or I'm driving my car, I'm doing this and that. Um, and then I remember or it dawns on me like, yeah. wow, we're all connected. Yeah. You know, it's like, yes. and so, and, and I was talking to Alice, I was like, you know, that would give me a headache, man, to constantly know all the time or be like consciously aware rather yes. that I'm God, yes. I'm yes. God, I'm God, I'm all connected. This is all there is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Cause it can get a when little, do you live? It, it can get a little, cause I'm, I would say I'm right now in the phase where I'm, as I talk to the checker out person at CVS, I, You're in I that mindset. I'm in that mindset yeah. where I, where I speak and I sort of like try to listen to the words that I say from the, uh, other mm. self. I want you to say that one more time. Do you speak? Like when I speak, mm -hmm. I'm trying to be you mm -hmm. listening to these words simultaneously. And, I, and, man. and that can, it can get very trippy and it can get, um, it, it's kind of nice to forget. Let's put it that way. Right. But this, this, just, just to highlight that though, if you were to just stop the course after what he just said and just really marinate on that, that's powerful. It's really that's powerful to really powerful. sit here and think and hear yourself yes. from another person's body. Just, you know, that, like I said, we don't, we're not advocating to do that all the time, but just to have that, those moments, it's powerful and it, and it anchors you in I, and it anchors you in awareness. Yes. Yeah. And then if you bring that to when you talk to your wife, your husband, your coworkers, your friends, mm -hmm. strangers, it will totally change because you will no longer be trying to like force a perspective or try to change someone or try and manipulate because you'll know that they are also I mm -hmm. and that means they are also you. And you as a unique expression. And you as a unique expression, correct. And then that's where the greater harmony, the greater love, all that good stuff can come. And another important part to this chapter that we were touching on a little bit earlier is this quote veil, which you could also say is like a veil less veil, mm -hmm. <clears throat> arguably being one of the most important features of reality where it's the ability to forget and remember as has been talked about in traditions. It's sort of like the front and back side of your hand mm -hmm. or another way to view it. It's like that very that line, which isn't even really a line between the shadow and the light. Yeah. When you see the way that a, it's hitting a tree mm -hmm. and where the line is. The ability is that middle point. Yeah. 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 And then you just go either way. But to, to have that ability, the, the ability is like riding that middle ground, yes. the sweet spot. That's what they talk about in spirituality. Right? Yes. That sweet spot, man. The middle way, the middle path. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because you don't you yeah. don't want to overly indulge in illusion and forgetting, and you don't want to overly indulge in, oh, I know that I'm God and we're running around saying everyone is I and don't forget and all mm -hmm. this type of stuff. Yeah. So I'm gonna start selling subscriptions and courses and all this type of stuff and making that your identity. Yeah. Now you have a new spiritual ego. Right. I'm a guru, you listen to me. Yes. Yes. Yep. I'm going to have an ashram. Everyone's going to come to my ashram. Which is, just, <laughs> man, it's just, it's, I don't know. Like I said, in the beginning of my path, I love stuff like that. And now it's just like, man, let's just kick it and watch the office, go to Roscoe's. You know. <laughs> no, I want to see yeah. your fucking temple, bro. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Good. Just know that the temple <laughs> is inside. It's I. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Yeah. All right. Beautiful. That is chapter seven. That is chapter seven.